Hey guys, my name is Jake Allen. I am a fingerstyle guitar player from northern Michigan in the United States, and um, I also do a lot of live looping and singing and all kinds of fun stuff to uh, make it seem like I'm more than just one guy on stage. <laughs> I've been playing guitar for, I would say, about 15 years at this point. I started out on keyboards when I was a little kid and, and then drums and then kind of worked my way up to electric guitar because I really wanted to rock. And, uh, and then acoustic kind of came into my life a little bit later and, and kind of took over as uh, the main thing. So I was really lucky in the sense that I, I grew up in a musical family. So my father was a musician his whole life and still is. And my mom was even a drummer for many years. Um, so I was really kind of surrounded by music growing up. And it made for an environment that made it feel very natural for me to grab an instrument and just kind of express what I was feeling through the act of making music. Um, so having that commonplace of music in the house was really what made me uh, start on a musical path. And then I think when I was about 15 and, and started um, really getting into um, 
guitar is when I decided I was going to do it as a, a full-time job. And then I got turned on to the fingerstyle guitar world, which was, uh, you know, players like Andy McKee and Michael Hedges. Um, these guys really made me look at guitar differently and, uh, and kind of wonder, you know, what else could be done with guitar that I wasn't doing already. So I really don't practice that much. Um, I practice at shows <laughs> because at this point I play enough shows that it's basically like I'm, you know, getting my practice in by being out in the field. Um, but more so I practice when I, song, when I write songs because um, I'm always kind of trying to find the next song and usually to keep things interesting for me, it usually entails learning new techniques and implementing things that I haven't done to keep the song interesting and fresh. Um, so songwriting for me is also kind of a form of practice, but I never really sit down and just hammer out scales or, or read charts or anything. You know, it's, uh, it's not really in my wheelhouse, but yeah, songwriting and, and performing. Believe it or not, my favorite bands are quite different from each other. Uh, my first favorite band is Yes, and my second favorite band is Nine Inch Nails. So there's this kind of wide spectrum of uh, you know bands that fall in between those genres um, that I'm also interested in. So I, I get my influences from a wide array of things. Um, but I'm also actually a big fan of video game music, which is kind of nerdy, but... Uh, some of the video game music is some of the best music I've heard, in my opinion. <laughs> I would say if you really want to get proficient in a certain area of guitar, find a player who has mastered that area and learn some of their songs. You know, some of the ways that I've gotten into these fingerstyle techniques is through learning songs of other people and discovering that these techniques can even be done in the first place, and then going the step beyond and saying, well, if that can be done, if I adjust a little bit this way, then I can even do this. And then you kind of build your own techniques off of the techniques of um, your mentors and uh, innovators in the field. Um, I think anything within music is connected as far as, you know, is, is singing going to make me a better guitar player? I think it might. I think that there's elements about singing that, you know, are, ty are tied to the elements of playing guitar, just like, you know, playing piano and, and getting proficient in that will make you understand music theory more and make you understand what you're doing with the guitar more. Or even, you know, as far as other mediums of art, you know, drawing. There's certain things within drawing or painting that, that can even make you look at guitar differently. So I think it's important to soak up as much as you can on an artistic level um, to better enrich your guitar playing. So I was originally introduced to Takamine when um, my dad handed me down uh, one of his guitars, which was a EF341SC, uh, the iconic black Takamine that you see in the hands of a lot of really n notable players. And what really got me excited about Takamine was the electronics in the guitar, the, the pickup system. Uh, the palithetic pickup that is exclusive to Takamine guitars sounds so far beyond any other acoustic electric guitar that I've played as far as quality that it was really a no-brainer that this is this is the guitar that I want to play for the rest of my life because it does everything that I need to do as far as picking up the body sounds and um, giving me a really robust uh, output that uh, handles effects very well um, but it, it's also just an amazingly built guitar and the consistency across the board with all of these instruments is uh, is really remarkable. You know, I can pick up a, gu a guitar from Takamine and already know without even playing it that it's going to play amazingly. So it's the uh, mix between the electronics, the consistency, and um, just the, d the durability of these guitars.
Well, the great thing about Takamine guitars is that the preamps are interchangeable. So you can take out one preamp and put it in and get a totally different sound. So personally, right now I use a preamp called the Cool Tube, which actually has a tube inside like you would find in a guitar amp. So there's a 12 AU7 tube in there that actually, it stays cool. It doesn't get super hot. That's why they call it the Cool Tube. And I remember the first time that I turned that thing on, and I was playing on a really, really horrible PA system, and even on this really, really bad PA system, I turned it on, dialed in the cool tube, and just started laughing because I couldn't believe how good it sounded. So that's kind of my go-to preamp when I'm playing solo acoustic shows. And I also might switch to the CT4DX preamp, which is a great preamp if you want to have a, a lot of versatility in implementing another guitar pickup. So you can plug in another pickup to that preamp and have infinite control over both the palathetic pickup inside the guitar already and whatever additional pickup you decide to put in. And you have a blend knob and you can just get all kinds of really great sounds and really customize it. Um, the CT4B that comes in the Takaminis kind of the, the stock preamp is also just a great preamp that's just all around a workhorse. It sounds great, it's simple, there's not much to it, and you plug it in and you're just immediately, you're sounding great and good to go.